Yo boys, so we're starting off with incline bench. I'm doing like a couple warm-ups here, just the bar, then to 60 kg, as because this is the first time I'm training chest in five months, I'm not going heavy, I'm going relatively easy. So just two warm-ups, the bar, then to 60 kg, and after this I do three sets of 10 with 80 kilograms paused. I will say I always do my benching and like chest training pause because you don't want to bounce the rep but as you can see I'm that unfamiliar with bench pressing that I kind of wobble on the first rep it just feels weird I also did experiment with grip widths and in the end I decided to go with in between thumb out so slightly closer than thumb out from the rings I will actually be taking chest training seriously now because I'm actually going to make a new split and it's going to be a 10 day split and I'm going to have chest training in there because I've just skipped chest for so long that I've actually lost gains. For the first few months, I did not lose any chest gains whatsoever. However, now it is very noticeable when I look in the mirror. So I'm like, you know what I could do with a bigger chest? I'm going to stick to just close grip benching. I don't think I'm ever going to do wide grip. To be honest, close grip is kind of just like normal grip because if you're actually trying to build muscle, you need more range of motion. You can't be doing some like dumb wide grip powerlifter bench to be honest that just does not feel good and the hypertrophy you get from that is just absolutely abysmal boys do you think that training upper chest will actually add significant mass to the upper chest because most people saying that they want to train their upper chest and asking how to get a bigger upper chest just have a small chest therefore their priorities are completely wrong and they should just focus on getting bigger chest however if your chest is already decent and you want a bigger upper chest, will focusing on incline actually make a difference? Because in the past, I very rarely done incline and my upper chest was big. So therefore, I don't actually know, does doing inclines and focusing on that part of the chest make a significant difference? So I'm going to test it out to see, can I notice any change? However, next we're moving on to a seal row. This felt really cool. Shout out to Bald Omniman, like the god of seal row. This was just in my gym that I was doing at the time because my other gym was closed. So I was like, do you know what? I'll try it out. I cannot go that heavy, as you know, because I'm a forearm. So I'm going kind of light here on the seal row. I did feel really good. It was one of those movements where you can hit a rep that feels easy. And then when you do the next rep, it's literally like impossible. It's a bit like an incline curl in the fact that you cannot push all the way and like grind out a rep. However, you can just easily fix this by, by doing partials. And I do like this exercise. In my new split, I might add in more exercise variations as I'm going to make it a 10-day split. And that way, I'll just rotate between both of my gyms. Because this gym that I'm in just now has some nice equipment that you don't really find in normal gyms. It has one of those football benches, which is like the neutral grip bench press, which would be nice to use on shoulder presses, incline presses, etc., and that would be pretty sick. Next, we're moving on to some dumbbell shoulder press. This workout is completely random. Do not follow this workout thinking this is what I do because this is not what I usually do. I'm just going into the gym just doing random stuff because I have not been in so long. But I must say, like, I look rather big doing these shoulder presses. Probably from the fact if you do not go to the gym for a long period of time and then you go, the pump you get from the gym is like three times the size and you just look absolutely enormous. Tell me if any of you guys have ever experienced this. Usually do not do dumbbell presses unless I'm like working out in my room or there's just not an other equipment. I tend to prefer barbell shoulder movements because I do feel it better. However, I have been seeing people praising the dumbbell shoulder press and dumbbell shoulder movements, saying that they are superior. I'm not gonna say they're superior, However, I am not afraid to try them out to see do they feel better because they do look cool. Like, you cannot deny that doing a dumbbell shoulder press in a flannel does not look cool. There are so many exercises that I want to try out and try and progress. So, I think that is why I will enjoy a 10-day split because I can just add in so many exercises. And every single time I go to the gym, I'm doing, like, a new exercise, doing some new shit. So, I think that will just be really fun because a lot of people lose sight when they go to the gym and end up not having fun in the gym. I go to the gym to have fun. I'm at the point where I kind of achieved like a respectable physique. Therefore, I just go to the gym 
and do exercises that I like. This does not mean I do not want to get bigger. However, fun is one of the main priorities when I go to the gym. Next, we're moving on to, I don't know what to call this, kind of like a arching chin-up because my form felt better doing a chin-up position without using my arms. So I'm trying to kind of like do a front pull slash pull up in a way that does not hurt my arm so that is what this is why you're seeing this weird pull up form do not roast me for this weird form however this is the only way i can do pull ups without my arm hurting also bros if you do not do pull ups with your legs straight i highly recommend it because i used to do pull ups with my legs crossed behind my back and i have to do my pull ups here with my legs crossed because this pull up thing is quite short and genuinely, it is so much worse. It's so much worse doing it with your legs crossed behind your back. You feel way more unstable and you just cannot get a good rhythm going. So if you didn't do pull-ups like this, I highly recommend to you to keep your legs straight, tensed, keep your whole lower body and abs all tensed when you're doing your pull-ups. And I guarantee you, it will feel much better. Next, we're moving on to dips. I have not done these in centuries. Genuinely, the weighty dip is something that I'm going to look to improve. Obviously here, I'm just kind of doing it as an exercise mid-May in my workout, so it's not that intense. I'm only doing two sets here. However, I am going to make dips a main exercise, including ring dips, because rings are fun, and I do like doing rings. And I think, imagine being able to do heavy, weighty dips on rings. Imagine how strong your tendons would be. You'd have the most giga-chan tendons on the earth. I'm already getting ahead of myself. That I'm, I'm getting slightly better from my injury. I'm already thinking about all these different exercises that I can do that will just seem fun. However, I do really, really like dips. I used to do dips all the time. They're absolutely amazing for your chest. However, I did not seem to find them to be good for my triceps. Tricep isolation has always been the way for me. I've never actually gained good tricep gains from compound movements next we're doing a little bit of a hammer curl incredibly easy so easy that it's just like i don't know how to describe how easy this is just a bit of like rehab here and i'm actually supersetting this with tricep push downs a thing i will say is that push downs and pulley machines are different weighty like the weights on them are different in every single gym that i've been to for example, right, at the gym I usually go to, the max pulley I can do, the max weight on it, is 50kg, right? And I cannot do 50kg pulley. You see here, I'm making it heavier. I'm doing, like, almost 70 kilos here, and it feels lighter than 40kg at my other gym. Unless you're consistently going to the same gym, there's not actually a way to track pulley machines, because I've gone to gyms. And I've been able to max out their pulley machine doing a tricep pushdown when I was significantly weaker than I am now. So And it claimed to be probably like 70kg or something. So the resistance on all these pulleys, even though if the weight says it's the same, are completely different. Here we have a little, I guess, arm update. Just like flex my arms here. Boys, let me know if there's any exercises that you would like me to to try because I'm going to have so much room in my program now that I can add in a ton of exercise. So if you have a favorite exercise that you want me to do that I have not yet done before, let me know and I will definitely try it out. But of course, we have to finish with abs. If you do not do abs, bro, you're literally missing out because abs is basically the most aesthetic muscle in the body. It's ba one of the most important, probably like Top three aesthetic muscles is your abs. And if you're not trying to get your abs bigger and more blockier, then that is not a smart choice, bro. Anyway, thank you for watching, boys. I wanted to post me training chest. Therefore, that is why this video is dropping on a Wednesday instead. I might make this a series, like chest training arc, something like that. Road to bigger chest, but yeah.